So long range rim fire is, is gaining a lot of uh, popularity these days. Uh, you know, again, I, I think because the limitation that a lot of shooters have to access ranges a thousand yards or farther, um, there's almost, you know, always a, a 300 to 600 yard range in reach of most people that you can have a lot of fun with a 22 at 600 yards. So, you know, you're seeing a lot more local 22 long range matches coming up and they are so much fun. And that, of course, helps the popularity as well. You know, it's less expensive, it's more accessible. It's a pile of fun for the whole family. You know, kids can shoot. Um, and so, you know, how, how you approach shooting rimfire at long range, which is, you know, four or 500 yards for a rimfire, is very similar to how you would approach shooting long range with a full power system. You know, you have to go through all the same tests at 100 yards for, with your tall target, with your level, verify your turret movement and your holds. Um, and then when you do all that calibration work, it becomes about propagating or predicting that trajectory out to the long ranges. Now, traditionally, you know, you could use a G1BC for 22 rimfire bullets, and that would give you accurate solutions, you know, is it out to 200, 300 yards, you know, you can hit targets very reliably. Now, as long range shooters do, the limits always get pushed, and we're shooting at targets now 400, 500, 600 yards or farther, and that begins to stress the system in much the same ways as ELR shooting does for full power. Um, one of the ways is you get outside the ability of your scope to adjust. So you need some kind of augmentation like a Charlie Tatcom periscope in front of your scope or an adjustable scope base, something to give you more than the 30 mils or 100 minutes of angle available in the scope. Um, other things that it stresses is actually the predictive ability of your ballistic solver. Um, your ballistic coefficients are no longer accurate enough to predict trajectories at those distances, so it becomes necessary to use custom drag models for the 22 rimfire bullets. And that's something that we've been working on building a lot more into our database is Doppler radar measurements of different rimfire ammo types at those longer ranges so that you can maintain an accurate trajectory prediction past three or four hundred yards. And that's something that I'm personally excited about because I've just got my first Voodoo rifle in a chassis and I got, I, I actually, I put the same long range scope setup that I have on my uh, 375 over onto that 22 as a trainer just to get used to the reticle and turrets because, you know, in Michigan, I don't travel very often to places where I need more than 12 mils or a revolution of uh, elevation on the turret. But with the 22, I can use that entire capability of the system, the, the periscope included, you know, at, at 600 yards. So it's a very good training system and it's, it's very good, um, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a good way to experience long range shooting without the travel and the expense of shooting the large caliber guns.